Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, we got a ton of stuff to go over. We got updates, reminders, law, sneak peek cards, content hints, an insane week of Madden coming, some stream endings, and a few other things. But let's get into the video, guys. We've got plenty to go over. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Come turn on that noti bubble. Watch me join the family. Like the video. And of course, guys, if you need coins to pick up any of these cards or prepare for this insane week of content, make sure to go down below and head on over to my reserve. The 30% off using code Poodle is still active. Make sure to take advantage. I've seen a lot of people have, so make sure you're taking advantage of that. Don't want to miss out. You get a ton of coins. It's promo. But let's start with the updates and reminders. Program cadence during holidays. During Zero Chill, there will be no team of the week. Walker Wednesday LTD's program release since the program ends. The 15 Legends are the only current Continental Star releases. We know that. Good Morning Madden segment over the... Uh, we'll be taking a break over the holiday. So we'll be taking a break over the holiday starting on this Thursday, December 24th, after the new year. So starting the 24th is really our last stream. So I believe that's Thursday. And then that's it. Christmas Eve is the last day. And then we don't see him again until January 4th. So we will be alone for what's going to feel just about two weeks. And you know how long Christmas break can feel sometimes. That may feel like a while. But that is enough for that, guys. Let's move it on. So first, before we get into this, guys, I don't want to let you guys know. Cradle hinted at some insane content. He said, all you guys got to know is that 50 and Legends will be really great this week. Like, super exciting. So I think we're finally getting Randy. We got we got Taylor, right? Not the, uh, Sean Taylor. That's always one of them. We got Calvin. It's got to be Randy. We're getting Randy for Christmas, a Christmas Day drop or something. or Because remember, Friday is Christmas, and that's the 50. So I think we might be getting Randy on Christmas Day. Because Kralo said, he said, Friday content will be great, and Christmas Day content will be more than great. So I do think we're going to get a surprise Randy on Friday or Saturday. But I'm not sure what. All I know is that we're going to get insane Christmas content. Kralo didn't want to say it, but he pretty much said it. He said we're getting something crazy. And he also looked Sterling Shepard right in the face and called him Sterling Sharp. So I wonder, because he was talking about the Legends, he knew what Legends were getting. I wonder if we're getting a Sterling Sharp as well on Legend Saturday, considering he called him Sterling Sharp. It's possible. Not entirely sure. But Randy Moss is definitely coming. This will be the, this is one of the longest periods of times you ever went without Randy Moss. And he just said we're getting insane stuff on Friday, which is the 50, which would make sense for uh, Randy Moss. We might be getting a bow as well. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Here we go. The video game challenge numbers, guys. Not sure how much you guys care about this, but... Pretty much there's going to be a list of 32 players that will be a part of the Pro Bowl. And you guys, if you play with them in game and you score touchdowns, they're going to be tallying them. And whoever virtual player scores the most touchdowns by January 4, uh, January 3rd will make their virtual Pro Bowl for the additional two spots. Something like that. Not that important, but I thought you guys don't want to hear it. So here's our first sneak peek. Cornerback Mike Evans. 93 overall for the Buccaneers. 90 speed, 92 excel, 87 agility, 95 jumping, 90 play rec, 95 man, 92 zone, 85 press. It sucks that he can't be powered up. So, what do we see on the on, on, off the page right now? 95 jumping is going to be crazy because I believe Mike Evans is six foot five or something like that. Somewhere between six foot three and six foot five. I think it's six foot five. But Mike Evans is super tall, and he has 95 jumping. So that's going to be huge at cornerback. Like it's it's going to be like free safety Calvin. Like if you rock him free safety Calvin, they may be slow, but they're going to jump things that they shouldn't jump. They're going to be able to catch things that they shouldn't catch. And he's got 95 man. So. With lockdown, he will end up with 99 man coverage, so he will be a threshold max man coverage guy. It's just that that speed's kind of too slow for man, but again, it's that maybe the height will make up for it. Or a Buccaneer, if you put Sprinter on him and you're on a Buccaneer steam team, guys, you can get him up to like 95, 96 speed. So he's going to be a, he's going to be a god on Buccaneer steam teams. And with a lockdown, he will get up to a 97 zone. So if you get him on a Buccaneer steam team and get some extra stuff on him, you may be able to get him up to a 99 zone. And then for the press, it will get to a 90. So he's going to be a great corner. It's just the speed. Like I said, you need Sprinter, and if you have a Buccaneer uh, theme team. Now, can you get Sprinter on out of position players? I haven't checked just yet, but I believe you can. It would only make sense, but if you can, that sucks. But if not, you need him on a Buccaneer theme team, that's going to be what it comes down to to make him a meta card or at least good enough to be you know, locking out here because he has, he's going to have the threshold, especially that man coverage. You know, it really just comes down to whether or not he's going to get that one threshold, which is going to be the, um, like, not even a threshold, but speed. Will he, will he get the speed? That he needs to be able to be competitive. But moving on from that, guys. Next, we do have the next player here. Which is going to be Xavier Rhodes. A ghost of present. I don't think... There has to be a lot more ghosts coming. I think these are early ghost drops. Because we usually get a ton of ghosts. And 
oh, well, Ghost of Presence coming tomorrow, right? So, they, they obviously are revealing us one of their worst ones. That's what I should be saying. Now, I have a feeling we might be seeing Mahomes tomorrow as a Ghost Master. 95 overall Ghost Master. Because Calvin really was a 94 overall Ghost Master of future, uh, future. Now, I think we could be seeing a Patrick Mahomes Ghost uh, Ghost of Present Master. Or an LTD Patrick Mahomes uh, Present. Because the thing is, is that they, we did know that we pretty much hinted at Mahomes. And it would make sense if he was a Present. Now, he was a Ghost of Present before. Uh, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. But he was Ghost of Present. And he was super good. So, I'm hoping we get another one. He was 94 overall last time, though. So, this time he should be a 95. Because Cal and then Ghost of uh, Future, Ghost of Past should be 96. But let's check out Xavier Rose. He can be powered up. So he will get to 92 speed, which is great. Now, man zone and press. So he will not get the 90 zone threshold. He will get the play rec threshold, the man coverage threshold, and the press threshold. So it will be a strictly a 92 speed man corner. He's really not that great. I don't recommend him. Low agility, low zone, low excel, just enough speed. Uh, honestly, I don't recommend him. He's a low overall, too. He's not going to be a part of many God squads for the most part. Maybe, will he be maybe a decent? What's weird is that the future players were all actually pretty good, right? For future, usually future is the lowest overall, so it's kind of confusing. Unless for presence, they're doing more. Future, they only did three players in the set. And then for present, they'll do like five players in the set, right? Because future, the lowest card was, uh, I believe, a 90 overall DeAndre Swift. Could I be wrong on that? Maybe, 80, maybe it was an 89 DeAndre Swift. But this is present, so usually the overall thresholds go up. So if it was 94 master, 92, 91, 90, or 89, then for present, they'll start in 91. So they'll go 92, 93, up to 95 master. So I'm hoping they, hoping that's the case, but it remains to be seen. And then we got Cam, Scram, Newton. It's been a while since we've seen a good Cam card. Hopefully we can read these stats here and get something out of this, but no power-up. 87 speed, 95 throw power, which is a good start. 87 short, 86 medium, 87 deep. Ah, uh, they ruined him. 80 throwing pressure, 90 throwing the run, 89 play action. The only way, guys, you get Cam Newton is we got to put play fake max on him. You'll get his short and his medium above a 90, which will then lead to him having a threshold passing game, short and medium, which is important because deep accuracy is like, yes, you need it, but again, you can go through a game without it. The issue is when you don't have the short or the medium and you start missing on like easy first downs or, or under pressure, quick throws, and that's when you're like, okay, I can't play this game anymore. But that's a deep. It's really going to limit your ability to go deep, especially at this point in the game. You know how ultimate team is, right? Like, every, people have this. Simmons, everyone's crazy speed. You need to be able to hit accurately in the windows you want to hit on because if you don't, it's going to be a pick. So I don't think there's going to be a useful quarterback. It sucks. If he had a power up, it'd be a little bit different. Not really. Power wouldn't have changed too much, except he would have had a little bit better speed, a little bit better some other stuff. What they need to do is give him the deep on his own, right? If they gave him the 90 deep, or like an 89 deep with the power-up, it would have been so perfect because he could have got everything with 99 throw power with 88 speed. He would have been a fun quarterback, but they kind of ruined him here, and that kind of sucks. But that pretty much does wrap up today's content. That pretty much wraps up the bulk of what we have today. Now, it is exciting. We have a lot of stuff coming to talk about that, so I think we're going to get a big legend weekend. I think we're getting either Randy Moss, um, Bo Jackson, Sterling Sharp. We could potentially get a few other guys as well. Now, that's just talking regular content right the hype of this weekend isn't just on regular content now, i think randy will be the 50 and i think Bo might be like a christmas day ltd or a ghost of past master remember we're getting ghost of past right so we can get like patrick willis we can get like um randy moss we could get randy moss as the 50 we can get Bo jackson we can get steve young who we haven't seen in a while who's always a stapled man we can get a joe montana uh pass card we can get a tim brown we can get a uh Who's the brown corner? Willie Brown. We can get some Mel Blunt. Ooh, there's so many choices for this card. Mean Joe, another Mean Joe Green. Uh, John Randall. There's just Jerry Rice. There's so many good choices that they could pick for this card potentially. So I'm super hyped. They said that Christmas Day is going to be insane. Now, Kralo said that Friday is going to be really, really more than good. And then Christmas Day content is going to be more than great. So... The issue with that is that technically Christmas Day is Friday and he's double set it. So I, I'm not sure if I'm not sure. So he meant two days are going to be insane. He said Friday and then Christmas Day. So I'm not sure if he means that Friday and Saturday are both going to be insane. He messed up the days or he meant the day before Christmas, which would be Thursday's going to be insane, which I don't think Thursday's going to be insane. So I'm leaning unless that's ghost to past right before Christmas. I'm not sure, though. But all we know is two days of people will be insane. It's either Thursday and Friday or Friday and Saturday. My guess, though. Is that all three of them are probably pretty good? Because that's ghost cards, presents, Christmas Day, 
and then we have Legend Saturday. It'll all be good. But that's going to be good regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button. Subscribe. Comment down below. If you guys did enjoy, comment down below. Let me know. Like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Give me your predictions what you think you can see for Christmas and Saturday. Who are the ghosts of the past you want to see? Who are the ghosts of the presents? Maybe your big time legend or big time the 50 player you want to see. Let me know who you've been waiting for. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We need coins for any of these cards coming up. This is insane week content. Head over to my reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off at checkout. Take advantage of the holiday discounts. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.